Hello guys, it's Chiamster. Today I have an anime pickups video. This is for Summer of 2018. Yeah, and I know I've been a little late on this. I kind of got sick for like a month and then, yeah, I kind of just didn't do it for another month. So it's early December now and if we're doing this video two months late, don't mind. Um, that is, uh, yeah, my bad. Anyway, we're going to just start this off as usual. This shouldn't be too long of a video, I don't think. Um, so yeah, let's just get into this with any manga I have. Um, anything. So first up, as I usually do, I'll just be doing anything that I have already, and I just got like further books. For example, if I had the first two volumes, so I'm maybe at the third volume. Um, I don't know. I just like to organize it like that. Um, I don't even have the things organized. I'm organizing as I talk. But anyways, um, I'm a professional. So first up here, we got Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. This is the second volume, and then we get. Um, the second volume of Splatoon. Good game. Um, so that's always that's always good. Then we have the second volume of One Punch Man. Then we have two volumes of My Hero Academia. We have first we have the third volume and the fourth. Next up, I don't even know where to put this one. Um, this is a Ruby manga. Um, can't debate this one. I know there's a whole debate if it's an anime or not, but you can't debate this one. This is an actual manga. But yeah, I don't know where to put this in the new category or not, because there is a Ruby manga already that was before this, which I have, but this is like its own thing, so I don't know. I guess I'll just mention that. I don't know why I did, but... Alright, anyway. Next up, we have um, two new series I started getting. <coughs> First of you, we have Akash Records of Bastard Magic Instructor. Uh, enjoyable series. And there's this one, which I have actually yet to read, but Hatsune Miku, Future Delivery. Um, so yeah. Alright, now we'll get into the DVDs and whatnot. Just kind of the random things I normally don't show because I don't like to make single videos on just one DVD because those would be like a minute long. So anyways, let's just get into these. So the first one up here is Sonyani Super Sonic the Animation. So there's that. There's the back. And opening it up here, you have a few things. First up you had disc one, and then you had discs two and three right there. So, yeah. Alright, next up we have um, My Teen Romantic Comedy Snafu. I always feel weird saying the English name for that. There's the back. I don't even think you could read that to be honest. Um, that's, that's a lot of text right there. If you want to attempt to read it, be my guest. Probably need to pause it though. Um, and in here you got disc one and discs two and three. Alright. And following that up is the second season of it. DVD for that. Yeah. And if you want to try and read that. There you are. Um So, you got your disc one, a little post it in there, so that's nice. And it's soft centered a little bit. There we go. That's soft centered. Um, I, I don't, I'm just going to move on. And then you have discs two and three. Alright, next up, oh boy, this is a long English title I'm not used to saying. Um, my mental choices are completely interfering with my school romantic comedy. Um, yeah, there's that. Or just no come. And there is that. This anime is actually really entertaining. I highly recommend it to anyone watching this. Um, it's one of the best comedy anime in my opinion. That was hilarious. Uh, only two discs, which is surprising for a DVD. Because usually there are three. But... I guess I decided to do only two on this one, since it is a little bit shorter than normal. Um, 
Next up we have Blade Dance of the Elementalers. Elementalers, that sounds weird to say. Alright, um, there's the back. Inside, we got disc one, and we also got discs two and three. Alright, last up for the regular just DVD slash Blu rays and whatnot, we have Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Yeah, um, take out the slip cover. And here you can see all the, you know, art on the back here. And then you have the Blu ray right there. This one anyway. And then you got disc two of the Blu ray and disc one of the DVD. And then you got disc two of the DVD and the art there. So yeah. Alright, that's that. Uh, limited editions, I usually just do little overviews of these, so first one here is the Testament of Sister New Devil, and there is that, there's that, please don't ban me, YouTube. Um, inside, you get some stuff, and I will link the unboxings to these in case you want to see these more in depth. But you get a little art book here, which I know is a fact that I cannot show on camera. Um, and... Here is the actual DVD such Blu-ray case. It only has one, usually with limiteds. They have um, separate DVD Blu-ray, but this one is just that. And also, separate from this box is the extras box, which is just that. Um, next up here, we got the My Hero Academia limited edition. And you can see that the back. This is the season one limited edition by the way. Um, inside you get some neat stuff. You get the art book. Um, so we got the... I think this is the Blu-rays. Let me check. No, this is the DVDs. My bad. Lots of DVDs. Um, and, you know, you also get to the Blu rays, of course. So there's that. And then outside of the actual box, there is this notebook type thing here, which is actually just a notebook. There's nothing actually inside. Um, yeah. But, you know, there's that. And then, lastly, we have the Shokugeki no Soma, or Food Wars. Um, season 2, or the second plate, or I'll call it limited for this. Just kind of open this up, I guess. So you get a few little things inside here. You get this headbands type thing. Uh, a couple little things pinned on this, whatever you want to call it. Um, opening it up here. It's an art book of sorts, and the Blu-ray, and of course you get the DVD. Yeah, so if you want to see any of these limiteds in depth, I do have unboxings which I will link in the description. Hopefully, I remember to do that. Um, if not, someone please comment telling me I didn't do it. Um, because of that I will. Um, so yeah, um, that's gonna be about for this though. Um, not too much this time around, and I think next time there also isn't gonna be too much. I don't know, I just didn't really get a whole lot. Hopefully, I think that spring of 2019 will be a huge one. I just wanna give you a heads up that fall 2018 and probably winter of 2019 aren't gonna be that huge, but I'm telling you right now, spring of 2019, this, it's going to be a massive haul of, like, everything. Prepare. Um, 
But yeah, hopefully I get some more stuff coming up here soon. Wait and see. But anyways, that's going to be that for this video. So thanks for watching, and bye-bye.